All right. Well, congratulations, Ashley. <laughs> I am so Thank proud you. of you. I'm so proud of you for doing this. You did a great job. You're going to be amazing at this. So these are just some questions of your thoughts on the course. So first one is, what are some things you loved about the course? So what I really appreciate about the course was the level of knowledge and education that Dr. Ruth gave us and also practical real world tips and advice that she's gone through too. I don't have a background in animal health or anything. So I was learning a lot. I'm background of bachelor of health science, but nothing like this. So it was helpful to not feel lost or she made it easy to understand essentially, which was super helpful. And I felt like for each module and for each homework or quiz, I did feel really prepared. She had all the resources available. It's cool. I immediately started putting the use or the knowledge towards my dogs and just like friends and around me too. So it was great. I very, very well done. Awesome. 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 All right. How about some things you didn't love? Um, I think it's hard because nothing really to compare it to, but going online and paying for a certification or a program, you don't know what you're going to get a lot of the times. So you just hope for the best with the amount of money that you spend. Mm -hmm. And it was everything and more than I thought. I would tell friends and family about it. They're like, oh, wow, you're learning that? Overall, it was great. The only, and I know they're working on this stuff too, but there's some forms that might be out of date or reference to on some of the quizzes, the questions were, the grammar was off to where it made you think it was asking a different question. So you just hoped that you were <laughs> right. But, but yeah, I really liked that she had the transcript audio too, the transcript and the audio. If I didn't quite understand what she said, I could go to the transcript. to read more into it but yeah and I know like uh, when I went through the program I came in and they changed systems so that's like a background for me so I know how intense that is so there's a lot of kinks to work out a lot of stuff like that they'll get it it's just yeah it just takes a lot of time but okay. I said didn't love you went back into what you liked <laughs> <laughs> I just can't help it. I swear we're related. <laughs> I swear we are. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so what would you say to someone asking if you were going to recommend the course to them? 100%. Aww. Because the course is for pet parents too. It's just if you want to learn more just about your animal in general and animals in general, because a lot of times we as humans humanize dogs and cats and a lot of times what we think is like they're happy, they're in pain. It's a completely different meaning. So I recommend it to pet parents, to those that maybe want to have this as a career, as like a side job, or just truly want to help other pet parents be able to advocate for their animals better. And question the vet. Bounce ideas off of them because I... It, it takes on a different conversation when you have those conversations with your vet. They're like, oh, she knows those. How does she know this? And so, it, I don't know. It helps. It's it, just like humans. We have alternative tools and animals do too. And it's just like realizing it, figuring it out, and then having those tools and, and resources with you just in case you need them. Veterinary care is always going to be here and it needs to be. Um, but if there's a different alternative for like chronic conditions, then 
it's worth a look at um, if that's something that interests you. Great answer. Really, that was a good answer. Uh, what would you like to see more of? Um, I think real case scenarios would be nice. On some of them, or on one of them, she was like, for the kidney one, which was nice. It was like, okay, what does this look like? And it's Jimmy had this on his blood work, but when they did the urine sample, he had this infection. We don't need to go down this path. And for each module, that would be really nice. Like common scenarios. Cause I feel like that's what we're going to encounter mostly. So I would say that I would say. Um, yeah. I mean, I can't really think of any, thing else i know you and i were talking about the back a little bit more on vaccines uh, vaccine information just like background on pros and cons of each vaccine and we did have the because a lot of times it's nice to be able to already know or understand what the client's coming for to us hey they're on these medications you're like okay then they're dealing with this issue probably right off the bat. So that would be helpful. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That. So how are you planning to use the information? So I currently own my own dog boarding business. So I already have a lot of clients that I've spoken to and like telling them that I'm getting a certification and they're all like either super interested or like, what does that mean? So I plan on a hundred percent like offering myself and my services to them. If they're interested, I already have quite a few that I'm just waiting to get to. I just wanted to finish the course first, but, but yeah, because in the boarding world, I see so many dogs. I don't do cats because I don't have a space, but I see so many dogs that come in and they're on all these prescription medications if skin issues, they need injections or whatever it is. And that's totally fine. But I was just like, God, there has to be a better way. And I already help pet parents feel relieved and relaxed when they drop off their dog. I'm helping them, but I'm just like, what about the, the dog, you know, itself? And so just providing more education and to pet parents so they can take what they want with that information, but it's, it's definitely needed. And I think we're at a time where it's really catching on and can make a true difference. So. Awesome. Yeah. That's going to be cool. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm going to be excited to see how you um, combine the two together with the boarding facility. That's going to be great. That's yeah, me too. <laughs> because they definitely go they go hand in hand because they're all dog lovers and stuff too yeah. and maybe some will want to take the course too and learn more for those so. yeah absolutely yeah that's I, i'm yeah that's gonna be a good that's a good place to do it any success stories that you've had so far that you wanted to share so i do for one of my dogs murphy i he he's always had issues with his ears and for a long time, I changed all their food. So I changed all their diet. So their crock pet diet for all of them. And Murphy, I'll go back to the ears in a second. Murphy, he turns nine next month. So he's in the senior stage. And he was getting to where he was just laying around all day. And he doesn't like other dogs to touch him. So just grumpy old man. And now he's getting toys out of the toy box. He's playing with his little brother, Nico, and little sister, Naya, like he hasn't in years. And it's just really like, heartwarming that he's what I think like aging backwards and just like enjoying each day again versus just hanging out. So that's really cool. It's truly just the diet did that. With his ears, that the histopause has really worked for him. 
he did have to have some cleaning and some other topical ointments from the vet, which is needed. But but the different supplements, like getting them on, on a probiotic, omega, pause, have all truly helped as well too. And yeah, just better digestion in general. So the house smells better a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, which does make a difference. <laughs> but but yeah, just they're aging backwards and they just have so much energy and livelihood and it's really incredible. <laughs>